Well, hello everyone and welcome to Reese Thomas Tours. My name is Reese Thomas. I am a London Blue Badge Tourist Guide and I am also a City of London Guide. Right now I am in front of Guildhall, one of the most important buildings of the City of London. Now, you may have been confused by me referring to the City of London in former vlogs that you may have watched. The City of London is distinct from Greater London. Greater London is the wider area, it is the county where most of us live, it is what contains Westminster which is where you find uh, the Houses of Parliament and Downing Street and Trafalgar Square, all of those things. The City of London is the original square mile and it is essentially run from Guildhall. Well the Great Hall itself which is what you can see in front of you here is where we have the ceremonial, more of the day-to-day -day running goes in the more modern building we can see behind here. I'll talk about that in, in a moment. So Guildhall, Great Hall here, we can see this is one of the oldest buildings in the City of London. It has survived the Great Fire of London 1666. Uh, it survived, or at least mostly survived, the bombings in the Second World War, where you see these darker bricks here on the side here, uh, these darker stones. Uh, these date to the early 1400s at a time when Dick Whittington, Richard Whittington, was the Lord Mayor of London, one of the richest men ever to have that role. This bit that's uh, at the front in the lighter stone, that was added in the late 1700s by uh, George Dance the Younger, who was the city surveyor at the time. Now if you have a look at the uh, architectural style of this uh, extra bit, this uh, porch that's been added here, uh, this has actually uh, got a bit of influence from our most important colony at the time, India. Uh, now, this style is known as Hindu Gothic. It is a unique style. It's taking the Gothic architecture with the pointed arches, the pointed uh, windows, the buttresses, these bits that hold the building together, but it's also taken inspiration from Hindu temples. The Great Hall here is where much of the running of the City of London takes place, the ceremonials, when the Lord Mayor of the City of London takes his seat in a ceremony known as the Silent Ceremony, which is normally on the second Friday of November before he will be preceded in front of the public in the Lord Mayor's show. It will take place in a ceremony right here in this building. This is also where uh, nine times per year the Court of Common Council will run the day-to-day -day business of uh, the City of London. The Court of Common Council are sort of like the uh, House of Commons of uh, the City of London. This predates Parliament. Uh, Margaret Thatcher, our Prime Minister in the 1980s, said that if Westminster is the mother of all parliaments, then Guildhall is the grandmother. Now, the equivalent of the House of Lords here in the city is the Aldman, uh, the Court of Aldman. Now, they don't have their meetings here, apart from the big ceremonies. They have their meetings in this uh, rather uh, futuristic looking building, which I always think looks a bit like a space rocket. Uh, this is the Court of Aldman here. You know it's part of the City of London because you can see the City of London coat of arms on the side of it. Uh, but you can see those uh, modern uh, offices just behind it here. Uh, this is where most of the running of the City of London takes place. It's also where various other uh, meetings will take place, including meetings of City of London guides like, uh, like me. This is where I was trained to be a City of London guide. Now, the style of architecture here is uh, another unique style of architecture. It's known as Brutalist Gothic. Now, brutalism was very uh, popular in the 1970s when it was built, uh, where it's uh, made of preset concrete. You will find this in many buildings from the 1950s to 1970s in this country. But you can see how they've taken the influence of uh, the Great Hall by having those pointed arches, uh, these uh, quite angular points above the windows uh, all around this building. 
It was designed by a man called uh, Richard Gilbert Scott. Now, Richard Gilbert Scott was the son of Sir Giles Gilbert Scott, who was a great architect. Uh, he designed the telephone box. He also designed the power station that became the Tate Modern Art Gallery, which I talked about a couple of weeks ago when I did my video on the Millennium Bridge. Now, probably uh, Richard Gilbert Scott's most famous building is just the other side of the square here. This is the uh, Guildhall Art Gallery. Now, the Guildhall Art Gallery is a wonderful gallery. It is home to uh, some fantastic pieces of art that are owned by the City of London Corporation. Uh, it's a free gallery. Anyone can go inside it. And uh, one thing that's very interesting in this gallery is we have the remains of the Roman amphitheatre. Now, Londinium was obviously an important city for the Romans. We knew that there must have been an amphitheatre here in this, uh, in this city. However, uh, we didn't know where it was until this gallery was being built in the 1980s. Uh, and they discovered the remains beneath. And if you look around the square, there is a black circular line that goes right around the square, all the way around, leading to the building. This just gives you an idea of the scale of the Roman amphitheatre that was on this site. Uh, it was large enough to fit 7,000 people. Now, another important building in this square is the church here. Uh, the church here is St. Lawrence Jury. Uh, the jury part uh, is because this used to be an area where the Jewish community were based in uh, the city of London. Uh, the Jewish community were ousted in the 1290s under the reign of King Edward I. Edward I, that's the bad guy in Braveheart, quite a controversial king. Uh, and, um, but the area still has that jury. Um, there are street signs, there's another church around the corner, St Olaf's Old Jury, uh, named after the Jewish community. Uh, but this is St Lawrence, and if we look, we might just about see the, on the top of the church spire, there is a wind sail or weather vane, uh, which is in the shape of a griddle. This is because St Lawrence was slow grilled to death. Horrible way to go, isn't it? And uh, often the way that you are martyred would be what you would become the saint of. And one of the things that St. Lawrence is the saint of is these, the saint of cooks. <laughs> now, the beautiful church was designed by uh, Sir Christopher Wren. Uh, Christopher Wren was a wonderful architect. He more or less rebuilt London after the Great Fire of 1666. And uh, if you look on the side here, you can see the stones that put it together. They're quite rough on this side because this side wouldn't be visible to the public at the time. It would have had a building going uh, right up to it. And Christopher Wren, he was very good at keeping within a budget. And so whenever there was something that wouldn't be seen by the public, he would uh, use the less grand materials. But if we look at the sections that are exposed, though it is uh, about to have uh, a well, uh, well needed uh, clean up, uh, you can see these very fine stones on the outside. This is an utterly stunning church uh, inside and uh, it's where the City of London Corporation, it's where the Lord Mayor uh, will have uh, his official uh, services inside. And it's actually at this church where I will be getting married next year uh, to my partner who is also a city guide. So we are uh, going to use one of the most significant churches of the city. Now I hope you enjoyed this vlog uh, of Guildhall Yard. This is an area that's very close to my heart as a City of London guide. Uh, if you've got any questions about the City of London and how it is different from Greater London, please put them in the comments below and maybe I'll make a more detailed uh, video about that in the future. Uh, if you would like to see more of these videos, I've got a ton of them on my YouTube, Facebook and Instagram pages. I release them every Tuesday, so please like, follow, subscribe to me on all those things. You will find me as Reese Thomas Tours. 
Uh, if you would like to come on a walking tour with me or you'd like to come on a virtual tour, if you don't feel safe to visit London at the moment, then uh, please visit my website, reesthomastours.com and get in contact with me. Uh, I will not be making a video next week because I will be on holiday. I will be down in the southwest uh, showing my baby girl the sea for the first time, which I can't wait to, to do. Uh, so uh, please uh, bear with me. There will be a one week pause and I'll be back in two weeks time. Uh, in the meantime, have a great time and I'll see you in two weeks.